Hey folks, Michael Prudham here with Yummy Arts, and uh, I'd like to introduce to you the star of the show, Susan Carberry. Woo! Right, that's it. That's it. That's All right, get out of here. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a pretty uh, simple Christmas cake for you today. I already have my cake here iced because we only have so much time. Um, this is an 8-inch cake. It's 4 inches high. It might actually be a little bit higher once I put the filling in, probably about 4 and a half inches. This is a 12-inch board that I've just covered in florist foil. This, because florist foil isn't FDA approved, um, I do have my 8-inch cake here on a separate board. So I'm going to put some double-sided tape on here and attach it. A lot of people ask me about how do you get your buttercream so smooth? Well, we didn't have time to go all into that. Um, but in buttercream uh, A to Z, goes over all that, how to get it super smooth and uh, stuff like that. So what I do is make sure that I... Put it on here in the center. Keep the spatula under there. Make sure it's in the center. It looks a little off, actually. So I'll just kind of tweak it and turn it, move it a little over. That or not. No. There we go. And we're fine. Okay. A little bit of a gash in the back, but hey, not a problem. That's the gash. Fingers. Finger marks. What can you do? Okay. So we're going to do um, a, like I said, Christmas theme. And... I was thinking about bringing the airbrush, but a lot of people don't have an airbrush. Um, so this right here, this is a, a, a spray, and it's this one's a luster spray in baby blue. There's also other sprays. It, this one you have to get at like a cake decorating supply store. There are other ones in craft stores that they're blue, but they don't have the luster, but you can still use them. You can't control this quite the same as you can with one of um, the, with an airbrush. But I just thought I may as well, you know, show you how to do it this way in case you don't have one. Those of you that do have an airbrush that don't know a lot about airbrushing, there is a video on that um, by Linda Bills, airbrushing. I think it's, is it 101, Michael? Or? Yes, airbrushing 101. Airbrushing 101. Yep. She does a great job explaining all that. So I just have to be careful here. You can always have a paper towel and just kind of, it's pretty heavy, so you have to kind of just squeeze and look, I'm almost like, eh. <laughs> With an airbrush, it's a lot, um, it's a, <laughs> you have more control, but this will work. We just kind of want a little snowy background. Okay. That it's kind of, that last squirt was important. Actually, you know, if you kind of squirt it there and then just keep your finger on the trigger, um, it's easier than, than stopping, starting. It's the start that's, that's going to get you, ah, ah, like that. Okay, don't do that. All right, that's kind of fun. Woo, okay, now that the, uh, you should probably do that in a well-ventilated area. All right, so um, probably would have been a good idea if I didn't do it on the finished board, but I'm gonna cover that up with um, snow down there at the bottom anyway, so it's not a big deal. All right, nothing's a big deal, right? We can always fix anything. 